Hi, it's Melanie. Today I'm going to go over my window concealment images, otherwise known as image concealment films. For this room, I made 12 different concealment images, approximately 22 inches by 19 inches wide and 72 inches long. I took four different photographs of the scenes outside of the room, so the printed image would be exactly what you would see from standing inside the room looking out. I brought those photographs I took into my computer and did some Photoshop magic, resizing, maintaining quality resolution, etc. So after these images were all resized and ready for print, I ran them through a very wide format printer that I have. I use this special paper that receives glisse inks and it is kind of like a mylar but not quite like mylar. But this paper retains the ink really well and after it's fully dried I take it to a flat clean space and I spray it with a special UV coating that will retard the sun and the rays from the sun and The following are three examples of room divider screens that I made. I have free instructions on my website which I'll put in the description below so you can go there and just download these instructions and make it yourself. The first two images I used for these room dividers were from the Grand Canyon in Arizona. The second one was a rock and tree formation that I photographed in Maine. These next nine images will show you the lower half or the lower sash of a window that is covered with the window concealment image. And I've done that so you could see out of the top part if you would like to, or just cover it with a drape. Some of these windows are in bathrooms, which is an appropriate place to put something for privacy. Also, they're in the side windows of a house, so if somebody's walking between the house, they can't just peek in your house. I've also put them on bedrooms, just the lower half. My printer prints an image that is 23 and a half inches wide. So if the window is wider than 23 and a half inches, I split it into sections and add these black strips to fit the window and make it look like a faux mullion. Here's an example of three windows right together where I take a long, wide, panoramic and split it into three parts and fit each one on the lower sash. With this bank of three windows I used a photograph that I made into a panoramic from a shot I took in Botswana. You can see the dark mullions that are sandwiched between the thermal glass. Two pieces of glass, air in the middle, mullions in the middle. This window was probably the most challenging window I ever did. 22 individual pieces all cut up from one solid continuous image. I took the photograph in Kensington Park, London on a fall day, so no leaves in the trees. In fact, the entire room was European themed. The top middle section of the whole window was left clear so you could see in and out. This is a final window after the homeowner draped it and dressed up the room. I also make window concealment images for the side lights at a front door, which maintains your privacy when someone you don't know is ringing your bell. And finally, the largest and probably most involved piece that I make using these window concealment images are these systems that I put in front of sliding glass doors that already exist. They are very low profile, so maybe tops four or five inches tops from the window out. And they kind of work like soji screens. They slide on tracks, but I put four pieces individually divided into four pieces from one big image on these screens. Depending on the size of your room, you can slide these right out of the way so you can see the entire sections of your sliding glass door. Or you can set them up to overlap so they slide to the 
right or left so you can still see out your sliding glass door. It's really dependent on how much space you have in the room. I made this miniature display to show how these sliding glass window systems that I make work. This will kind of give you an idea. This first one is looking at it from the inside of the house out. You can see how narrow they are and what a thin profile they have. So they don't take up a lot of space in the room itself. And the second image is going to be from the other side, uh, looking at it from what you would see on the outside looking in. You're going to still get that translucent. You're going to see the image whether the light's on during the day or the light's off at night and you have lights on in the house. It all works the same way. You always have that beautiful image to look at. I have used all of these window concealment images in my house, whether on the windows or the sliding door systems or the side of the doors. I've had them up for 20 years. They're extremely durable. I put a UV finish on them, uh, protects them from the sun, so they're very durable and last a long time. If you're interested in these and need more information, feel free to contact me at contact at mhstudios.com. Basically, you're measuring the glass of your window, side to side, top to bottom. If you don't like one of my hundreds of thousands of images that I have, you are welcome to send me one of your own. And for a small fee of $50, I will do all the fixing. Make sure your image is between 10 and 5 megapixels. I have a Dropbox set up where you can upload your image, and then I'll review it and let you know if it'll work or not.